to Ferguson, where authorities are considering whether to charge Michael Brown's stepfather with inciting a riot. Police say the investigation stems from this video taken moments after the grand jury's decision not to indict Darren Wilson that it was announced. In what Brown's mother called an emotional outburst, Lewis Head is heard saying, burn this blank down, as Brown's mother, Leslie McSpadden, sobbed next to him. Well, Head has responded saying, quote, I was so angry and full of raw emotions, as so many others were. And granted, I screamed out words that I should not have screamed in the heat of the moment. It was wrong, and I humbly apologize to all of those who read my pain and anger as a true desire for what I want for our community. It wasn't. He goes on to say, but to place blame solely on me for the conditions of our community and country after the grand jury decision goes way too far and is as wrong as the decision itself. A spokesperson for the St. Louis County Police Department says Head is being looked at as part of a larger county and state investigation and to the events that unfolded the night of November 24th, including rioting, looting, and arson. Now, it comes as Missouri's Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder has repeatedly called for Head's arrest. I'm joined now by USA Today national reporter Yamish Alcindor, who has been covering the events in Ferguson. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you well know, you look at social media, you have a great number of people who believe that Michael Brown's stepfather is being targeted. Uh, there were many people seen on this video. How um, are the police explaining at least uh, their decision to look at him as a possible person to charge. Well, kind of how you said, they're saying that they, that they're looking at this as part of a larger investigation. They're saying that they're looking at arsons, they're looking at robberies, and they're also looking at Lewis Head. Now, I tried to get, I was on the phone with the police today, trying to talk to them about what this means and what the charges might actually be. And they're saying that they don't want to say exactly what he's being investigated for. That's from the St. Louis County PD say, this morning, saying that we're going to give this all to the prosecuting attorney and that he's going to be able to decide what the charges are. But they're saying that basically this is part of a larger investigation about what happened on that fatal, on that really fatal Monday night, because I've written a story about how someone lost their life, and the idea is that they want to figure out what happened and what and why this happened, and part of that is looking into what Lewis had said, but also I think part of that is looking into what arsons and what robberies happened as well. Um, right now, there's no timetable given for this inquiry, as we understand it, uh, from the St. Louis County uh, Prosecuting Attorney's Office, but um, from what we do know, is it that they are saying, you know, the shouting of those words caused the days of rioting and, um, and, and I shouldn't say rioting because most of these were peaceful protests, but the protests that followed, what are, what's the connection here, Yamish, they're making? I mean, I think the potential connection, I think that they're still cautious of saying that this is exactly what happened, but I think the investigation, I think it's common sense to say that if you, if, if there's investing a man, investigating a man who said, burn this blank down, they're looking into whether or not his words then turned into action, whether or not people were listening to him and had his words in the back of their mind as they were burning down buildings. So there's this idea there. Um, but I think that the governor and other people have said repeatedly that this was the action of multiple criminals that were set out not just in listening to Lewis Head, but they were also going for their own motives, that there might have been selfish people that wanted to just steal a TV to steal a TV. So I think that I think that they're cautious to say that Lewis Head would be the reason why all this damage happened, because we had, you know, dozens of buildings burned. And I think that it'd be hard to say that one person could do that. Is there a worry from the people that you talk with in the community? We've had some days of calm at this point that um, the appearance, uh, whether it is true or not, of targeting Mike Brown's stepfather might set off another series of events? I think people are scared that people, if this man is really charged and if we really see a criminal investigation and we really see criminal charges um, over someone who has said, I'm sorry, but, you know, I got really, really emotional because this is my stepson who was, who was killed, I think people would be really upset. Will we see a return to violence? I think that I don't want to speculate and sure, say that course. people would be violent because I think yeah. the people there are really pushing for peace. But there's a worry. But there's a worry. Yeah. There's definitely a worry there that people are going to take this as you targeting a, a man who really needs to be helped and be comforted by this community, especially, of course, as people are still angry that this grand jury decision chose not to indict an officer. So, you, would, I mean, people would automatically say that this officer would really be getting away with killing a boy. That's what a lot of the people that I've talked to said. He would not be able to go through the criminal justice system, yet we have a man who's raw and emotional, and he would be criminalized. I think that it, it would be common sense. I think a lot of people are very worried that that would set off people and, and maybe possibly have more violence. Amish, thank you so much. Excellent reporting. Greatly appreciate you joining me. And